Hi guys, Todd here. This, this will be a quick video. Hand on heart, this will be a quick one. Uh, right, Kangar, <laughs> still send me stuff from time to time. I don't know it's coming. Uh, it just turns up and, um, okay, what can I tell you? Uh, the last couple of things they've sent me, well, the last one I just came out and said it was shit. Um, and, and still they send me stuff. But hey-ho, they don't watch my videos anyway. This arrived about a week ago, the K-Kiss. Now, from what I can see, uh, you can buy this in the UK. And what's, I'm on a site just now. £41. Uh, £41. And for your £41, you're going to get uh, a mod and you're going to get a tank. It's a sub -ohm tank. It's a Kanger sub -ohm tank that hasn't leaked. Oh, yeah, it hasn't leaked on me at all, um, which is really strange. Um, this battery here, 6,300 milliamp hour, uh, that's the rating for this in here. The battery life is tremendous, um, and as much as um, there's things that I don't like about this, uh, but I, I, I honestly, for 40 quid, I do actually believe this is pretty good value for money. The battery life is incredible. It really is incredible. It's a 0 0.2, um, it's a, yeah, it's a 0 0.2 ohm coil that comes with it. You only get the one coil, which is a bit of a bummer. The only thing I've not tried is I want to try one of the older Kanger coils in it to see if it actually fits. Uh, but we'll, we'll give that a bash. Uh, now, obviously, you cannot adjust the voltage on this or the wattage or temperature control anything like that. This just dumps out, say, 4.1 volts, 4.2 volts, uh, when you push the button. That's all that happens. It just dumps it out and, and that's it. So there is no adjustment whatsoever. Uh, using the coil that comes with it, it's a cloudy little thing. It is. It's uh, a lung hit, slight, slight restriction on the lung hit. Um, as far as I can see, there is no adjustment on the airflow. Uh, what you hear there is what you get. So just a little restriction on the lung hit. Uh, you can um, pop your own 510 drip tip on it. I'll tell you what, we'll have some close-ups. Big box, comes in a big box like this. And uh, where's it gone? I've lost it. There we go. There's all the different finishes that this will come in, and obviously I have the black one. In the box you're going to get uh, a little manual, which is here, where there's not a great deal of information in it, but you don't really need a great deal of information. Uh, I mean, it's you get a spare glass tank, spare O-rings, and a USB uh, charging cable. Obviously you get the mod and the ATI as well. I'll take the ATI off just now. Uh, you only get the one coil, you do not get spare coils with this whatsoever, it's just the one that's in it. Now this pulls off like so, see I've got some condensation build up going on there just from use. Now this is just a bit of plastic uh, wide bore and, and it does the job fine, but if you want you can put uh, your standard 510 drip tip on here. Uh, the tank is a top fill, you just unscrew the top and uh, yeah, it, it, it does the job. Um, I can actually fill this up. I've been using a 70 VG in this primarily, and and even just taking the top off, um, filling it up, and uh, you know the usual. Um, once you screw the top back on, you feel that little binding, turning it upside down, and then tightening it up, and just leaving it upside down for a couple of secs, and then there, yeah, not one single leak out this thing, leaving it overnight. Nothing. It's been great. Uh, obviously you can unscrew the base here and uh, out she comes. So there's your big chunky coil. Right, let's try an old one. I have to report I can't actually find any old ones. This is just another uh, SSOCC coil that I've got here. This is a 0 0.5 ohm one because I, I, I prefer to vape 0 0.5 ohm coils. So I'm going to try this one in it and see how we get on. Now the mod, it's, it's textured. Uh, it's not smooth, it's uh, textured. Now, uh, we've got these hideous screws going on on all of it. Uh, absolutely disgusting. Hate it. Um, 
Kanga Tech here. We've got a USB charge point up the top. Uh, on round the other side, we have the fire button, which is actually quite small uh, and is flush. I'll come back to that when we go back up top because this is my pet peeve of this device. Okay, kiss down the bottom, bit of ventilation going on. You do actually have spring loaded 510 going on there. And this is your battery indicator. Uh, there's four lights there just now, there's normally five. Uh, and it, it's just like goes on for days. Um, yeah, that that's all you've got. There's, there's no wattage adjustment, nothing. Uh, just like that. Uh, the height's about 131 mil. Uh, I think at its widest point is 40. Measuring this tank comes out at 23.7. I actually think, you know, a 25 mil tank, you will have a slight overhang, which is a bit of a bummer, uh, in my opinion. Uh, 24 mil, you should be fine. Now, when I say there is a spring-loaded 510 there, yes, it is. Uh, but it's not the deepest. Um, if you've got drippers or tanks with really long 510s on them, you might find that it just sticks up just a little bit. But but that's it. That's all we've got going on here. Right, with a 0 0.5 ohm coil in this, it, it suits me uh, better. Um, now, I don't see any reason why the old square Kanger coils wouldn't work in here, uh, because I've always found, personally, that if the SSOCC coils work, then the, the original OCC coils work. Uh, but, um, yeah, here we go. That's not quite as manic as a 0 0.2 ohm coil. Um, it's, so, yeah, um, I, I get why they have the 0. Point, well, actually, I don't get why they have the 0. 0.2. Why don't they have a 0. 0.2 and a 0. 0.5? Um, you know, not everybody wants to go through their juice at a gazillion miles an hour. Um, but in, in saying that, in saying that, whilst I don't I necessarily agree with including just a 0. 0.2 ohm coil, that's, that's a negative from me. Okay, don't like that one. Um... I do not like the fact that the button is so small and is flush. Um, if you're not looking at... Get me, right. I drive a lot with my work. Reach over, grab the mod, go to push the fire button, and I always end up having to do this, which is no fire button there. There it is. No, that's the USB. Flip it round again. There it is. Got it. You, you end up doing this looking for the fire button an awful lot. Um, yeah, it, you can, the tank sits out on the, you know, the fire button side, uh, so you can get it from that, um, but I would just like to have seen a different button on it. I'm not a mod maker, I, I, I'm just telling you how I would like to see it done. Um, and that's it. I don't like the screws, uh, all the visible screws on every single side, not a fan of that, but... For £40, this is actually very good. There's the negatives. The positives. There are a lot of mods out there where they just... Um, it's a protected mech mod, if you like. Uh, it's just putting the full power of the battery out to the 510, out to the coil. Uh, I have no issue with those devices. I actually quite like using them from time to time. This, this just works. Uh, 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 you know, you've got all your protection puff, uh, I think it's 10 seconds on the puff uh, and then it'll cut off uh, overheat, low voltage battery cut off, it's got all that going on, but the it's the size as well it's the size, I mean, I've not got a reload or anything like that here but um, 6300 milliamp hour with a 0 0.2 ohm coil, this will get you through a day no problem whatsoever. Um, it would get me through two days with a 0 0.5 ohm coil, two days, no problem at all. It has some little niggles that I do not like, but I do think for the money, if you can get this for 40 quid, and I think it's very good. I never thought I would say that. And once again, I do have to mention that um, the tank has not leaked once. A Kanger tank that doesn't leak. It's amazing. And the flavour's really good from it as well. No airflow adjustment. That's another negative. No airflow adjustment.
but that's it. That's just a quick look at the Kangar K Kiss. Who names these things? As always, guys, thanks for watching. There's other videos out there. I do believe the the, the man with the beard um, has done a review, and he thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. Um, up to you. We'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye.